So the old Brian would come in with different camera angles, weird things, maybe a duplicate of myself. Still do those from time to time. I do enjoy a good crazy camera shot or a, hey, I'm opening the thing a la Good Eats style like I used to do. But since I do eight to 10 of these a month, it's easier to shoot in here a lot of times. So I thought I was gonna come in here and eat a sandwich the entire time during the review. And then I thought, that's disgusting. So I'm not gonna do that. Why do I bring that up? Well, today we're talking about a card game called Sandwich Master. So question of the day, what is your favorite food-related game? Now, I've asked that question before, but it's been a while since we've done it. So what's your favorite food-related game? Let me know in the comments below what your favorite food-related game is because Sandwich Masters is a card game all about making sandwiches and being the master at it. It's in the title, really. Let's take a look at how this game plays. Come back up, talk final thoughts right now. All right, Sandwich Masters. What'd you expect? It's a card game, right? Three different decks. Now there are more of them over there. I'm just not showing you all of them because they're the same kind of things. In the white deck, you've got bread. You've got these extra expansion ones here. You've got bad ingredients and regular ingredients, all different sorts of things. None of them do anything particular uh, except the health inspectors. There are three types of health inspectors, jobs worth, lazy, and strict. You can bribe it for $10. Uh, or they have to get rid of any of the bad ingredients. So you can make sandwiches with bad ingredients, but if you get caught by the health inspector, to sandwich is toast. Uh, the other, <laughs> it's just lots of funny, silly things in here. Deface chicken, that's that's funny. Uh, all sorts of ingredients and things like that. That's the white deck. You're gonna be getting your ingredients. So what you're gonna be doing in your turn, you're gonna have seven cards, and you can play up to four sandwiches in front of you. Have to start with a base bread. Now, then you have the order cards. These are, these are things like this. So this is a food order. It is the conundrum. I'm guessing that's a type of a sandwich, but it's a chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what came first? Chicken, egg, or mayonnaise. Got it. Um, the conundrum. So it's chicken, egg, mayonnaise on this sandwich. So in order to make that, I would then have to have in my hand uh, chicken, egg, and mayonnaise. Now, it can be one of these, again, as long as you don't get the health inspector plate on you. Now, the thing is, you don't have to play the ingredients in any particular order, but you do have to finish with a piece of bread. So once you finish those ingredients with a piece of bread, on your next turn, you can claim this and gain the cash prize down there, 15 nosh, nosh dosh. Those are pounds, I believe. But anyway, grab those, and then you can do another one. There will be four of these out at any given time. In the black deck, there are also events and things that happens. All players may discard any bad ingredients from their open sandwiches. So it's going to let you just get, wow, look at that. It's five dollars per filling. Uh, stack the sandwich as high as you like. Okay, so you can do as many as you want there. Uh, wow, gets really wild, but uh, five dollars per filling. And then all these different ones here. Uh, super inspector, all players must discard all open sandwiches. So they're, you know, it's like a perfect inspector. Certain investigations, all players discard all salad cards from their hand. That's funny. So that is what those are. That's the entire game, essentially. You're gonna do that for a set time limit. It says play for 30 minutes, or you can set a t uh, an amount of money to get to. But that's really all the game is. You're gonna continue doing that. Now, you could, in fact, play a health inspector card on someone else, and their job would then have to be fixing it and getting that health inspector card fixed. But uh, other than that, that's how the game's played. So that's Sandwich Masters. Pretty straightforward. Now, as far as looks, I actually like the art in this game. I think it looks really good. Uh, the backs of the deck look a little plain. Obviously, the black deck, white deck, money, Nosh Dosh, Nosh Dosh. I get it, Nosh, Noshville was the name of that sandwich shop in the Nashville airport that served big sandwiches and Carnegie Deli cheesecake, but I don't know what Dosh is. So someone help me out in the comments below. But anyway, all in all, the game looks, uh, actually looks pretty good. The art, the art's pretty neat um, for the individual items, etc. cetera. Um, you know, again, it's not it's not winning awards based on art. It's not something you're like, oh my gosh, best card game art of the year to um, Sandwich Masters. But that's not, again, that's not the purpose of the game. The purpose of the game is, you know, set collection, not really set collection, but collecting those resources and playing those resources uh, before anyone else does. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's straightforward. It's very simple. It's eight plus is the age group. And I think that that's probably more the age group that you're looking for is playing families with kids because this isn't something I can see us playing on a game night with just adults because it is pretty straightforward. Now, part of that is because I'm not a huge take that fan anyway. And so one of the things that kind of grows the game up a little bit to where it's more of an adult style game is the take that elements. And I'm not a huge fan of take that. So therefore, take that can be a little tricky in games like this. And so this is basically a 
really simple game of collecting the things you need in your hand, discarding uh, what you don't need to get hopefully what you do need in order to play on the sandwiches that you do have that are out there. But the take that aspect of it, and there's not even that much of it, but it does hurt. Obviously, you're putting these bad ingredients in other people's sandwiches. You're calling the health inspector on them, and you're forcing them to pay money because they didn't take the time to do it. So, all in all, Sandwich Masters is a pretty straightforward, basic card game. Uh, the, the, the take that aspects are there. I like how you score. I like that you actually, you know, you put the ingredients out. You put the bread out, the ingredients, then the bread, then you score it in the next round. I like that. It does kind of almost push your luck to, hey, I wonder if I can hold this out for one more turn that somebody else won't claim this sandwich, etc. So all in all, pretty straightforward, quick card game. It's all about, you know, sandwiches. You could pick up this game and learn it very simply, very easy. Uh, if if this is kind of your thing, more power to you. Check it out. I, it's, it's, again, something that's going to be played more with us and the kids than us and other grown-ups. So that is Sandwich Masters. I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, etc. at Dice Tower Brian. Until next time, we'll see you.